So you walk into a, a house like this and you just look around and marvel at what's on the wall, at what's on the tables, at every corner of every room in the house. It's really special. An event honoring Supreme Court Justice Brian DeJoseph has brought together many people with different political views. But what everyone in attendance does agree on is how remarkable the venue is. Quite frankly, I think the attraction is the house, not me. But, I'm, but that's okay. I'm just happy that people are here having fun. Not an inch of white space remains on the walls at the home of Walter Miller and Jane Verostek in Solve. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, think about every little thing fits. Collections of political artifacts and memorabilia dating back to the 19th century fill different rooms of the house. It's the last known photograph of Andrew Jackson just before he died. There certainly is no shortage of history at this house. There's an invitation from one of the very first Syracuse University graduations on the wall and yearbooks from 1886. A step back in history, some of which I was fortunate as a child and then later as an adolescent and as an adult to witness, so it's fascinating. There are some classic buttons, uh, President Kennedy and, and going back uh, several decades, but then there are some real funny buttons as well that you wouldn't necessarily have seen on the campaign trail. Miller says creating the political room wasn't easy. I didn't sleep for two, I just decided the only way I was going to really get it done was just, just stay in here, close the door. And at like 24 hours, and I was in here, you know. His hard work paid off. It's, you know, like a labor of love, I guess. Andy Mukasey, NCC News.